The governor launched the new Clean Cars Initiative rulemaking process in 2019 with the goal of forcing automakers to sell more electric cars here. Since then, the MPCA has been accepting and reviewing public comments and reached a milestone today when an administrative law judge ruled everything was done correctly. It is a huge win for Minnesotans. Um, talking about lower costs, cleaner air, and more selection of cars to pick from. Paul Austin of Conservation Minnesota is among those celebrating the ruling, which would apply starting with the 2025 model year. Um, I think it's also a, a validation for Governor Walls and his move to kind of reassert Minnesota as a climate leader. All the way back in 1967, the legislature gave the MPCA the power to set emission standards in this state. But now Republicans believe that when it comes to cars and trucks, those decisions should be handled by lawmakers. Cars are being made, trucks are being made, so why do we have to regulate it? Why do we have to throw California emission standards? GOP Senator Bill Ingerbritson of Alexandria this week said that he would block the Environmental and Natural Resources Bill if the governor didn't drop the clean car rule. Today, he changed his demand, saying he wants the governor to delay the new emission standards for an extra two years. We still stand on that. A decision can be made to, uh, to uh, put it on a two-year uh, waiting period. And If he sticks to his guns on this, it would mean the MPCA budget would freeze, along with the DNR budget, which would mean state parks would close as soon as July 1st. John Croman, CARE 11 News. Well, the Minnesota Auto Dealers Association today called on Governor Walls to wait until after President Biden has taken action on federal emission standards before imposing the new rules here in Minnesota.